morning guys good morning everybody it's time to wake up it is time to wake up get in the picture come on mama mm -hmm. this is the morning routine well <laughs> only when i'm not working <laughs> yeah i like this morning routine the best me too <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of sleep in <sighs> whole bunch of coffee in a minute yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna show you a whole entire day of bus life for us <clears throat> first things first First thing is coffee. Ah, oh, it's time. What, Mamacita? What do you want? There's already food in your bowl. Oh, you want kitty coffee? Already? It's not time yet. Echo. Coffee time. Hell yeah. Two minute timer. Morning ritual. Turn on. Oh yeah, we have to turn on the power every morning because we turn it off every night. I don't think we have to now, but in the winter time, we did. Like in the dead of winter, short, short days, we did. We had to turn it off at night so mm -hmm. that the refrigerator didn't run down the batteries. Woohoo! Coffee is ready. Enjoy that cup of liquid awesomeness. The thing you have to know about Mama Kitty is that she has to have her kitty coffee every morning. She takes her coffee with no sugar, extra cream, hold the coffee. Are you so happy now? She'll just keep meowing and keep meowing and keep meowing if we forget. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. And so for the next two and a half hours, we just sit on the couch and drink coffee. <laughs> My coffee doesn't last that long. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not actually how that goes. <laughs> actually, this is when we watch our YouTube channels. This is so funny. This shows you what we really do in our lives. There's a travel channel, a mosaic channel, and a whiskey channel. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff we watch together, the stuff I watch, and the stuff Mike watches. <laughs> For almost three years, we traveled North and South America, visiting 16 countries, meeting hundreds of amazing people, and exploring the world, one gas tank at a time. Another thing we have to do every morning is take the Reflectix out of all the windows. But one thing we forgot when we were building our bus, like we thought of everything else, where to put our trash, where to put our laundry, where to put our dishes, but we didn't think of where to put all the pieces of Reflectix when we take them out of the windows. So I always just come over here and stick them in this window slot. Actually, I should take this one and put them back here. so cute how she sits and looks out the windows all the time well my face is itching today and I let this go a little bit long so it's uh, beard maintenance day and the bus I actually just use this when I don't shave with water I generally shave with this more than anything else and then I have my little attachments to because I let this go so long but this saves a ton of water this thing is and it's rechargeable it works awesome and then all the attachments just click right onto this thing. I'm gonna trim more down there. 
We don't have a bathroom sink, so we just use our kitchen sink and we keep all of our bathroom things right here. So inside this cupboard, I'm gonna put a mirror that fills this whole space inside the cupboard. All right. I don't know how I feel about this thing. It's already absorbent. Yeah, those are tea towels. They're not really meant to be for your face, my dear. Look at how beautiful I look now. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> it's actually shower day for me, which sounds funny to say, but you don't shower every day in a bus. So, And I have some routines that are a little bit different than how I showered in my house. So I decided to just be very transparent and show you what I do to um, conserve water when I shower in the bus. I keep an extra plastic tub down here and I'll show you what I do. I start by just putting an inch or two of warm water in the bottom of my tub. I put a towel down on the floor and then I put the tub down on the towel and I know this seems weird, but this is where I do my shaving before I ever get in the shower so I'm not wasting water while I'm in the shower. And if you were in a house, you would think that this is an absurd routine, but when you're in a bus and you find little life hacks like this, you feel like you're winning, like you've just accomplished something. <laughs> The greatest thing about shaving this way is that I can have my glasses on and actually see what I'm doing. So this actually works better for me. Just kidding. <laughs> my legs are not that hairy. <laughs> this looks like it's bath day for everybody today. The shaving the legs part is the easiest part because I just get to sit on the bed and kind of soak my feet. And so sometimes I do a pedicure after this too, but I don't need to do that today. Once I have the shaving done, I can get the rest of my shower done really quickly. This is the best face scrub ever. What is it? Um, the Vasanti. Brighten Up. much nicer when it's not freezing cold. There's a lot less um, intensity to the shower. 79. What was it when I started? 83? 83. Only four gallons? Right. I just took a four gallon shower. Nice job. That was the bomb. <laughs> actually wear makeup every day but after I take a shower it just feels like a fun part of my routine. I don't use pencil eyeliner. I use eyeshadow and a dampened angle brush to put on a little bit of eyeliner because it looks more natural. And we're not cooking this morning. I might be that guy over there. Oh, you might be right. Somebody's running their engine like they're about to leave. No, I can't tell. No, it's this little guy. We might just pull over and take his spot. We'll have to survey it after he's gone and see if it's more level than the space we're at now. Obviously, I'm having toast. Not if he has a fancy new toaster. Yeah, although I have to say, somebody who commented was absolutely right about this toaster. It toasts one side of your bread really great and the other side is like almost raw. 
You're crazy. But that's okay. Like, this is still so much better than the camp toaster we had. Like, I'm satisfied with our cheap Walmart stupid toaster. I so wish I hadn't got rid of our really good toaster at the yard sale. It was a really good toaster. <clears throat> We try to wash each dish as we use it and just put it up in the drainer above the sink. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, it keeps us up. It on actually the saves a lot of water. Obviously, yeah. I don't do that with all the dishes because there's last night's dishes, but put it right my up toast there. just popped. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, put it up there. It's so cool. It just drips right back in. It's like genius. It's just the best thing. Okay, toast time. See the raw side, the toasted side. It's not a great oster toaster. Carrie butters her toast from coast to coast. I have to, I have to cover every square millimeter of the bread with butter. And she does. I do. It's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. A little bit of apricot jelly. Gross. I know. Mike raspberry is raspberry. the only jelly. Raspberry is actually my favorite too, but I do like to mix it up and have different flavors. So I take turns with my jelly buying. I grew up on raspberry. Mom bought strawberry once. The whole family was like in shock. When I was a little girl, my parents would take us up on Mount Graham and like we would pick raspberries until our fingers were bleeding from the little spines on the raspberry plants. And then they would make raspberry jelly and raspberry syrup and all kinds of raspberry deliciousness like I miss that homemade jelly has it all over store-bought okay what just the tool case yeah. this is how we hand stuff up to the roof got it thank you what's up mama Sita you want to go outside well, let's go girlfriend do it coming what do you need Bring a wire cutter. oh sure I'm doing a nerdy upgrade right now so Basically, we had we have two Wii Boost antennas now. We have this one, our directional, and we have that black one back there. That and one and so, that one. Right, and you only use one at a time. So this one here is pointed over there at a T-Mobile tower, and our router, uh, basically our our router, which is a cell phone, has a hundred percent signal because of that, and that's solid fifteen miles to to that cell phone tower. Over there. Pretty so, impressive. Yeah, it works really, really well. The omnidirectional one though is sitting there because I prefer to use this if I can. The omnidirectional one is just sitting. So I use it for tracking airplanes, which is known as ADS-B. Which, which is, is known as super nerdy. And out here, it looks like this. A little different than everybody else. I didn't know this already. <laughs> there we go. Here, grab that for me. Got Thanks. it. Thanks. Sure. Okay. Look at this thing, you guys. Wait, go stand next to it I again. I just oh. see it myself. Oh, you want to <laughs> survey your awesomeness? You're like what, 5'11 ish? Yep, 5'11. Maybe six foot with your shoes on? And that thing is like seven feet up there. Yeah. On top of our whatever 10 or 11 foot bus. Yep. Okay, I'm going to estimate that it's roughly 17 feet in the air off the ground. So in the process of moving, I do this. Bend this up. Just like that. It lays completely down. I lay it down and do all the zip tying and then we can raise it up. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Ready? Let's do this. Okay. We're moving the bus to a flatter location because we were like, using bricks on one side of the bus and digging holes on the other side of the bus. But our neighbor in the short bus left this morning, so 
for taking his spot. Looks good, you can keep going back. I think you'll level out more the farther you go back. Good. Back up just a hair. Perfect. Oh yeah, and it's centered those. That's good. They're very good. Thank God you didn't mess mine up with too much mustard. <laughs> I think the um, onion and pastrami make a nice pairing. They do. It's delicious. I'm grilled. See? Mama, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mama Sita? Did you need some, like, a free Leo Mio for you? She literally has never done this before, you guys. This is so cute. You're wanting a pastrami cheese sandwich, too? She's like, oh, God, what is on that? So it has all sorts of, there's about every little clip, accessory you can name in there. That's the chest harness. That looks <laughs> perfect. Yep. Oh, it has a little lock, I see. Yeah. There, okay. Got it. We're getting our GoPro on. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> that looks adjusted bubble. I think your arm goes through there. Okay, there we go. Yep. All right. Now I have man boobs. <laughs> It'll do. Here you go. <laughs> that's the break and that's it. It's just, it's just a twist and go. You got the GoPro on? Yeah. Good job. Look at that one. Uh, that one's pretty rocky and it's a lot bumpier. That one's just kind of smooth. It's just sandy so you gotta be careful with the sand. Okay? That sounds better. Okay, bro? Where'd you hurt? Got a little road rash there. What else you got? A little road rash there. Did you hit anything else? No road rush there. Man, what the hell happened? I don't know, bro. All of a sudden, the bike just... Yeah, like you hit that bump right there and went ta -doosh. Yeah, all of a sudden, the bike just went. So what I think actually happened is the damn thing broke off on me when I hit that. I had my weight on it, and it went down, and then the bike just went down with... Yeah. So I think that's what actually happened. That might have, yeah, that might have been it, huh? Oh shit, that's deep. Somebody 
you went down. What did you do? Foot peg broke off the bike and I crashed. What? The foot peg broke off the bike. Oh. My foot went down. I went up and over the bike video. and the bike crashed. Oh my video. gosh. Exactly Holy smokes, I'm coming down. I thought for sure you guys might meant that Mike went down. <laughs> I thought, I oh. thought something on my bike would break, but no. Something on his did. Bring the first aid kit. Unbelievable. Oh, you lost some skin there, buddy. Okay. Dang it, and you embedded some you dirt got a in little, your skin. You got a little road rash on the tummy oh, there. Oh, man, you took a hard hit. <laughs> Sorry, it's <laughs> right. a hard day today, but we did get it on video <laughs> at 120 frames per second, so we can really slow that one down. Yeah. Saving grace. <laughs> Seriously, mine's buried. Do Listen, I lady, it? I'm on my day off. <laughs> Yikes. This is deeper, but doesn't hurt near as much as my stomach does. Oh, that must be more tender. <sighs> You might be like more bruised than you and realize. Then there's this big old bruise over there. You big must old. have hit the bike somehow yep. or something. I, I hit the bike. Man. I hit everything. You did. Yeah, you did a number on yourself. Probably hit this and then over the handlebars. Oh, here Mike is bringing the footage. <laughs> yep. You that's skidded what happened. so oh, far. Your head. Yep. That's what <laughs> happened. It was a damn foot peg. Because you saw me put my weight up onto the foot pegs, yep, and that's sure. so it doesn't hurt my spine when I hit those bumps. And that foot peg just went. I can't believe yep, it broke there off goes. like that. The right side. Yep, the right peg just broke, and that just sent me over. I almost hit him in the head. Oh. Like I was swerving him in. Oh, right? That was okay. crazy. Yeah. I'm so glad you did not hit him in the head. I Dude, know. So that would have just wow. made it so oh much worse. And he kept sliding over more. <laughs> As I was yeah. like going, I'm like, oh no. At oh, least God, the no, paramedic didn't run you over. Right? <laughs> I just went right. How ironic would I that be? Right? right? Okay, come on. <laughs> well, I don't envy you right now. Straight Go to your happy peroxide. place. Yeah. Yikes. We're going to start up here. Oh. oh, I know that's got to be murder. Oh. Just make sure. <laughs> oh. Don't pass out, sit down on the bucket. <laughs> like. oh. Deep breathing with red. <laughs> Go ahead and get it now. Get it. <laughs> get it over with. Get it now. While you're miserable. <laughs> okay. Just get them all at the same time. You always scream once. How'd it go, my honey? It went easy peasy. Good. Mike right. volunteered to go get some first aid supplies for Red. Also, see awesome. these here, these are big, big trumpets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can cut them down. They're like okay, 10 cool. by 30. So awesome, awesome. I got yeah, two I just of those. Leave them in the package and cut them to yeah. the size you want. And then okay. you can just take out. Yeah, very cool. So I got you two of those so you could nice. like multiple uh, things. Cool. Also, for his arm, and I got you, oh, did I put that in my pocket? Or? A nice big roll Ooh, of medical nice. tape, because you're gonna need that for a stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's mainly why I got those. Cool. I got you some a few four by fours, oh, roller gauze, awesome. everything you need. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you too. So Take sorry, care of that, that baby. Well. Oh, my gosh. I mean, thank you for the great video, Red. <laughs> hey, I want a copy. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about, uh, we'll talk about rights here in a minute. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow, I am cooking you guys dinner, so Aww, you guys. you're so yes, sweet. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Message me what you guys don't eat. Um, oh, we're wide open. Go crazy. We don't eat. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> Unless you might get me in the wild side. Like, no, 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 no. No, we're going to have anchovy stew tomorrow. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fermented yeah. anchovy soup. Awesome. Thank you All right, so much. You're we'll welcome. Take care of yeah, you too. Take care. I would like to have a special moment in talking with uh, Walmart about. Packaging two tortilla crusts like this. Will somebody please put a Ziploc on this so we can just use one? Duh, right? Like for real. If I had known in advance that we were going to start filming this episode of what we do in a day, I would have bought the ingredients for a really spectacular supper and made something interesting and show you how to make it. But we didn't 
think of filming this literally until we were laying in bed right when we woke up this morning. Are you like literally just said that my pizzas aren't spectacular? Come on, people. My this heart. is not my heart. And these crusts are not that they're not that special. It's not like homemade pizza. What are you crust. having for dinner tonight? <laughs> I didn't have my glasses on, so it took me a little longer. See the blue light. And normally we put sun-dried tomatoes on our pizza, but we're out right now and didn't realize it. Yeah, I'm very sad. I guess we could just make two pizzas in the same night and then heat it up as leftovers the next day. I guess so. Oh, yeah, we didn't put any onions on it either. Oh. Echo, set a timer for 14 minutes. 14 minutes, starting now. We were two thirds vegetarian today. Two out of three meals, that's not bad. <laughs> Paper tonight? Yeah, let's get fancy. This looks very good. Mm hmm. Dig in. I eat it more civilized. Nobody eats pizza with a fork. What are you even thinking? I even put ranch on it, so. It's missing something without the sun dried tomatoes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes tremendous bring a lot. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I saved you. Oh, Bob. Oh, she needs a uh, rescued. She did. Turns out. All right, get up there and go get your your kitty food. What is it, Mama? Is that your song? Is your song of food? Is your special song? What is it, oh, Mama? Oh my gosh. I can't believe it! It's her special song! Can we go in the kitchen? What do you want to do in the kitchen, huh? Where do you want to go? To the fridge? What do you want in the fridge? Oh, you know what? We need to open a new can. Oh, what is this? What is this deliciousness? That special dinner? I don't know. I think I, I, think I tried something new. What Let's does it see. say? Oh, my glasses. Cuts and gravy. Sliced beef oh, dinner. Oh, the gravy kind. We haven't bought this kind for a long time. You want to see if you still like it? You want to try it and see? Where do I put it? Where do I put it? Where's your plate? Hmm? Right here? Is that the one? Oh, is it delicious? I think she's satisfied. Obviously, it's delish. Mm -mm -mm. That is literally every single night here at Bussy McBuss Face. Like the song of food goes off, and Mama Kitty comes running, and it's all excitement. I'm so tired, I almost forgot to put the reflectix back in the windows. We would have died of terrible freezing. It's not even really cold. Sometimes it's just more of a privacy issue. <laughs> it's not that time. Got to brush our tubers like big kids. Oh, 
although I sleep on the far side, Mike gets into bed before me every night, ensuring that I have to crawl over him as many times as possible. That's because you can actually touch your toes. If I tried to do that, I would die. That's probably true. So, like, you Spider-Man over me, no problem. <laughs> I like Caveman over you. It's different. This is how I make a special little blanket nest on the couch for Mama Kitty every night, since she's not allowed to sleep in our bedroom. Mama Kitty? What are you talking about? <laughs> Mama Kitty! <laughs> Mama Sita. That bitch Carol Baskins is here. <laughs> Listen, Tiger King, I know you're harboring a tiger under there. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Mama Sita, she doesn't want to go on the couch. There you go. Bad news, Kitty. Sweet. Three dreams. <laughs> Come here, naughty tiger. <laughs> she went running. She didn't even let me get her. Oh yeah, we also have to turn off the inverter with this switch right here. And then our refrigerator doesn't drain our batteries at night. Finally. Oh, I forgot my water. And your chapstick? Nope, I got the chapsticks Put on. Put lotion on your feet? <laughs> it's a good thing I came out here and I left the light on. Oh, gee. Here's the crawlover method. Oh, oh. I do this like 17 times a night. Every night. You were not filming that. <laughs> Earrings. Last things last. I love having this ledge beside the bed back here though. How awesome is this? My hair ties, my jewelry, my water, my tissues. It's the bomb. All the things. This is where Carrie messes with the bed for the next 15 minutes to get it just right. <laughs> Shut up! It does have to be just right. And so... And so... Tonight is here. Shh. We must be going. <laughs> or we could do. Babe, I was trying to say something. You keep interrupting me. So long, farewell. Our readers and good night. <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say anymore. <laughs> And so we end up exactly where we began. That's right. This video anyway. But a lot more tired though. All oh, right. I just hope I get some sleep tonight. It was a crazy day. Yeah, it was very interesting. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this random episode. It was pretty random. If you liked it, give us a like. And you gotta uh, subscribe right over yeah, click that bell. You know all the things. All the things. And come back and see us again next week. That's right. We'll see you next Thursday. Good night, you guys. Good night.